Hey guys, welcome back and this video contains an ad for Before today's video starts, I've got to show you these absolutely amazing mini brands. So these are the Series 2 mini brands. Let me open up and show you how cute they are. So the wrapper is off and I'm going to let this bloom open in 3, 2, 1. Oh, that like bloomed open. There's so many little packages inside. It's like a little trolley with the actual spinning wheels. So I'm going to build my little shopping cart and it's going to be perfect to put all my mini brands in. So I've got my little, little instructions here. I love that you can build things. It makes it really original. It's nappies. It's really squishy as well. That's cool. I can't believe how detailed and how well detailed all of this stuff is. Oh my goodness! Pears! I love them. They've, they've got every single brand that I know. Let's open up some more. I'm so excited now. Hershey's. They've even got Hershey's. Okay, this is getting way too cool now. Guys, I've even got a HP sauce. Mini brands are basically your favorite brands, but in mini size. This is so cute. I have got a slush puppy and the detailing on the top as well is amazing. When I opened it, I literally thought it was a real slush puppy. So I've unboxed all of my mini brands and you get five surprises in each one. So I've got quite a lot here. I must say the Hershey's was quite a surprise to me. And we also got some baked beans somewhere. Yeah, they're here. This is the collector's guide and you can tick off all the ones that you've unboxed. It looks like we've got some glow in the dark ones. I'm very happy about that. So we've got the Heinz baked beans. Altogether, there's six glow-in-the-dark ones, but we got three of them, so I'm very happy about that. Also, it looks like we've got one metallic, which is the Hershey's Cookies and Cream. Ooh. Thank you for watching my unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it, and definitely go check out Zuri's many brands. So now let's go on with the rest of the video. Hi guys, I'm Harlow, and this is Popcorn. Welcome back to the channel, and in today's video, because Popcorn has gotten so hairy, we're finally going to be clipping him because he's just getting so sweaty and now it's getting into the winter. It's just not going to be that nice and he's just going to get so dirty. I rode Popcorn today. I had a lovely lesson on him earlier and we came back into the solarium um, and all behind his ears, that was so sweaty. By his girth areas, that was so sweaty. And even on his bum, he was quite sweaty in his neck. You were very sweaty Betty, but even on his face he's gotten really hairy as well. Um, but anyways, you're probably wondering who this is. <laughs> this is Steph. You might have seen her in a couple of other of our videos, like when we went on the, uh, the beach ride and the Pony on the Loose video. She was in those. So Steph came over to kind of give me and Mummy a bit of a lesson and completely help me and mummy because we've never clipped a horse in our life. I've got no clue what any of the blades are. They've all got weird numbers and letters on them. So I'm actually going to be clipping popcorn today. I'm so excited. Um, I mean, I have clipped popcorn barely. I did his beard because it was getting a bit too long. Um, but that's all you've had clipped when you're, since you've been with us, hasn't it? Before we start shaving popcorn, <laughs> I want to show you what he looks like before so you can really see how hairy this little hairy monster is. So, you can see he's quite dirty and very, very fluffy. And the other side, he's definitely been lying down because he's got shavings all on his belly as well. His socks have actually a pock on. We'll let him. This is your second 
and only chance because you're getting washed and clipped today. Oh, oh, that's nice. Oh. Are oh, you going down again? Oh. Have you inhaled some sand? His mane's got really long. We do like it a bit shorter than this. Um, maybe about that much off? No, he normally has about popcorn. He normally has <laughs> popcorn. He normally has about that much off. I think we'll keep it a bit longer this time. No, I like it short. I like it quite long. No, I like it. I think it looks really. It, it, it if have, if we can clear. cut it like there. Yeah. Okay. Because he's going to be all like clipped today. Oh, yeah. uh, you don't want like, him to be so like, warm. Like, really smart. Oh, we've got and then he's got like a really long mane. Just admire how sandy he is on this side though. You can't see it because he's the same colour as the sand. <laughs> but if you f Mum, feel him, he's got so much sand in him. So this is the before. I just want to show you him before we clip him and before we take all of this fur off. What he looks like. So he's very fluffy on the legs as well. I won't touch your girth areas, I know. I know. He's got sand in his eyelashes. Yes. Should we try and wipe that away? We just need to have a close up on the bum area one more time of how fluffy and dirty it is. I don't know if they're poo stains or mud stains or stains. They're just not peeling. Let's have a look at the fluffy belly. I'm not going to touch it because I know Pokemon might get a bit angry. <laughs> when I was going to go get him off the walker, he, he saw me running towards him and he started neighing at me. It was the most cutest moment. Yeah. Oh, that sounded my mouth. Okay. Right, popcorn. So the first thing you want to do is make sure... Popcorn. <laughs> that your clipper blades are oiled. Ooh. So you can turn them on, then you want to spray the oil down the blades. Ooh. You want to do this about every 10 to 15 minutes, because otherwise the blades get really hot. Ooh. So we're going to test a little area first, just make sure that these clipper blades are right and that popcorn doesn't mind them. So we'll start here. You want to clip in the direction of the hair. That's it, so you want to keep it nice and flush with the skin and in the direction of the hair. I don't so you want, want to, to do cut, it a little bit I don't quicker. want to cut his skin. You won't cut his skin, so do nice long strokes. So you want to go in a bit closer. That's it. Can it physically not cut his skin? Nope, you won't cut his skin. Oh, he's so hairy! Yeah, so nice long strokes. Keep going, so you want to go a little bit longer and closer to his skin. See? That's it. That's it. So when you get to a bit of skin like this, you want to make sure that you stay nice and straight. That's it. You see the hair changes direction. So you want to go with the direction that the hair is going. So slightly more up. Oh my God, it's everywhere. That's it. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. So what you want to do is make sure each of your lines slightly oh. overlaps each other so that you don't get this line here. Oh, don't move, Brooklyn. So we'll get the most of his fur off, then Look we'll come the back and we difference. can go over. I know the colour difference. So much fluff. You can see how it changes direction just here. And now it's all over my hands. It's raining fluff. Good boy. You've been such a good boy. I'm 
I'm really enjoying this, but at the same time, I'm really itchy already. I've got an itch on my eyebrow. Wait. Oh. So much fluff on the ground and we haven't even clipped all of his body yet. I feel like I'm gonna cut his skin no, though. No, you won't cut his skin. Good boy. So when you get to bits that have got sort of soft skin, you can use your other hand to pull the skin tight mm. and that helps it clip. So that's it. <gasps> I'm doing it. <laughs> so this bit here is also a soft bit of skin. So remember to pull the skin. You can pinch it a little bit just to hold it over. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. It's because I'm getting close to his girth area. Yes. So what we'll do is we'll focus on the bits up here at the moment and then we can do his girth area later that's it nice long stroke there so that you good he's got a cut there what should we do about it you can clip over that that should be fine yeah that's fine it's not got a scab or anything how do you know all of this i was taught by a very old lady who taught my mum to ride that's it Oh, I've gone a bit deep there. That's all right, I can tidy this bit up here. Oh, no. Is it clip over there. I feel bad for him. Now I can actually see the cut. And he press it. Can you do the cut? Because I'm yeah. petrified that I'm going to graze it and make it bleed. No, it's already healed, look. <gasps> oh, Mum, look, it's healing. <gasps> the hair's growing back. Make a teddy bear out of this. Look at this. It's all yours. It's my present. <laughs> you've got someone who knows now. Remember, if you've got soft skin, to pull it tight so that it clips neatly. And then what you can do is turn them up the other way, just to blend it into that. Is he actually? Yeah. Oh. Okay, and then you've got this brush. little bit here. I can make a new brush out of this, out of this fur. It's quite good if you get a flicky brush. So with this bit here, go up, and then you want to blend. That look so easy. And then just blend your legs together. So is there no way possible that you can cut their legs? These are quite safe clippers. These are quite easy and gentle on their skin. They're not like the older style clippers. And they're really quiet as well. Like you were saying that your old clip um, clippers My sound old, like a yeah. Ferrari starting. There you go. <laughs> is it sleepy? Is it making you sleepy? He's actually really soft with it all off as well, which is the funny thing. Oh my God, his legs covered in hair. <laughs> Good boy. Right, do you want to do some more of his body? <laughs> yeah. So it's been about 10 minutes. So what you want to do, just check that your clippers aren't too hot by putting them on your palm like that. So they're not too hot at the Dead, moment. Just... But you want to get the spray. So turn your clippers on. Oh, on. Yep, turn them on. Spray down your blades. Give that a minute. Oh, there's a bubble. Yep, and then turn them off. And they're ready to go again. That's it. So start from the place that you've already done here. That's it. So slightly overlap your lines so that you don't end up with a hairy line in between the two. That's it. Push a bit firmer on the skin. So, Harlow, are we going to leave a little shape here for a saddle or is everything going to come off? Um, no, I think we'll just take it all okay. off. Okay. My little table. That's it. And then curve it up towards his withers. So, you see you didn't overlap your line slightly there, yeah. so you've got the little, <laughs> little line here. So, go back over that. Oh. 
to like the angle, yeah. So you've got a bit of a wiggly line that you have to do here because the hair changes direction. That's it, and then up to the withers. What happened here? <laughs> oh. So remember to push firmly. That's it. That's better. That's it. So go over like, this little bit here again. <laughs> my brush. My full <laughs> brush. And place that that way up. So you can even shave downwards so you can turn it over and just come down. So like that? Yeah. You can see how this hair's growing upwards like that. These clippers are amazing. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Mm. I think they're the Livery Mint Harmony Plus ones. Yeah. Steph, are you any good at doing any shapes on the bum? I can do. A, a what shape heart? do you want to do? I could do a heart. Po a popcorn? I can't do a popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> um, lightning bolt? Star? Um, my limit's probably a heart. <laughs> okay. Have you seen stencil bum? So when I was... Yeah. Yeah. I've got mole as in a stencil and it clips it out beautifully across his bum. Mm. Can you see I'm going to give it a go doing a heart on his bum. I've seen people do it on TikTok, so I've got an idea of what I want to do. Oh, that was rubbish. Hmm, how did they do it? Then like this. Now if this doesn't if this doesn't work out, we can always do it on the other bum. Cheek. Then they just did it like this. They're getting quite small now. Oh, this is looking horrendous. Maybe we should try it with the little clipper blades. Oh. Yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> and we can make it extend out this way. And then just um <laughs> It really looks so the easy on the one. video. It was just like duh, duh, duh. But the thing is, you've got a clip all of this, you're he's gonna be you need to, it needs to be a hairy heart, not a bold heart. Oh! Oops. Other bum cheek. <laughs> <laughs> good job yeah. yeah. Good job he's got two bum cheeks. Can't actually see what I'm doing. There's yeah. so much fluff. Right, popcorn. Time to do the other side. We'll start it from. Oh. Oh, I can make a rainbow. Should I make a rainbow? I'm going to make a rainbow. because it's a bit wonky. Um, let's make the fluffy clouds. There we go, there's a fluffy clouds. And then we can have another fluffy cloud over here. And I'll fix these fluffy clouds a bit. There we go, we can just shave. And guys, imagine if the battery died right now, we've got to leave him with a rainbow on his belly. <laughs> right, I'm just going to carry on now. Because, um, you know, I don't want the clippers to die straight on me. And then he's got to be left overnight with a rainbow on his belly. Because <laughs> imagine what it would feel like. So, like, you're hot in one place, but like, it's in the shape of a rainbow. So you feel like on your belly, you've got a rainbow on you. 
now we've got these clippers and I know how to do it, I can kind of keep on top of it. So in case it grows back, I kind of know how to do it. So I said kind of. <laughs> head on my boot and it's itching. Now I know how they feel when they've got an itch on my leg. So you want to make sure that you pull, because he's got quite saggy skin on his jaw here, you want to pull it tight when you clip you his know face. What oh what a good boy. And then that's it, push his forelock out of the way. So we might find that the bigger clippers would be better to do this thicker fur here. So for the finer fur on his face. Steady. Oh boy. That's it. No do lines allowed. Do you ever end up with like rings around their eyes? So you try and blend it together. So you know how I showed you on the legs where we... Good boy. Where we just turned the clippers up the other way. Steady. You can just use that to blend your eyes together. Good boy. Isn't it? So this bit's the difficult bit because you've got this bump in here. So you want to do little short strokes just to get into the nooks and crannies here. Have you got a plaiting band that we can put his forelock in to hold it up? You just hold it up. I'll hold it up, yeah. Oh, it's so clean. Good boy. Oh. Well done, popcorn. Oh, Harlow, do you know what someone, someone commented saying that, that his star looks like the shape of a popcorn? <laughs> it does. Oh, my ear popcorn. So when you get to the nose here, he says, excuse me. You can turn the clippers up so that you go against the hair. So you don't want to trim any of his whiskers off. Boy. Oof, I'm slipping on hair. So where's his skin? Wait. I think you might need to put some oil on those maybe. Some people it take a couple of weeks for them to clip. I can normally do a full clip in a couple of hours. No, because it's like their horses don't like the clippers. Oh yeah, it took me ages to do Bob. <laughs> Who's Bob? Bob. You remember the cob that was out with popcorn? Oh yeah. Yeah, he was great until I did his legs and then he went for about a week with hairy legs. Well done. So remember you need to pull the skin if the skin is soft and loose. On his jaw it's a bit difficult. Yeah, so you can, if you get this skin, see how sometimes you can pull it up like that Oh yeah. as well, so it pulls it straight. So it is Chelsea here. Harlow's mum and we're still going. We have been clipping for a long time now. So Harlow's helping one of the grooms up the road on the quad bike. So I thought I'd show you, we'd nearly finished with the clipping. So I'm gonna get his hot oil wash, skin wash ready. We've got this from NAF. Um, Harlow is sponsored by NAF. So um, it's very nice that we get to try all these products out, but this is gonna be really, really nice for him after a clip. It's also gonna make him look so shiny and clean and just get all that hair off him so he's not itchy. Um, so what I have to do is pour some of this into some hot water. I've got my water ready 
and then I've got, it comes with a little towel and soak that in the water and then rub this over his skin. So this is the job for mummy. Um, I think Harlow would like to do this, but she's nowhere to be seen. So I'm very excited. He's looking, he's looking a lot different. He's looking very creamy. You can see all his dapples, all his like marks that we didn't know he had underneath there. He's basically got no fur on at all. We've took the lot off, all off his face, his ears. We haven't cut his mane. I don't know if we're gonna get this done today. I don't know where Ellie's has gone, but we can do that another day. But legs are looking good. And he's been a little angel. So we've used the hay cone. So he's had his dinner on here. He's had hay. He's made a lot of mess. Got to tidy all this up. And I've also, he's messed up two wash bays. Well, tie up bays. He's got all this hair here. And then all this hair here. And here's Steph. She's been amazing. Couldn't have <laughs> done it without you. We've all done it in shifts. Like, I cannot believe the amount of hair. It's taken ex long because he's got so much hair, isn't it? Yeah. And going with fiddly bits. Yeah. And we're also perfectionists, so if there's any, like, like it's very smooth. We've gone over it and over it. So yeah, you're looking very good, Popcorn. We've got the cloth. I've put the oil in. I'm just rubbing this over his body. I'm gonna get all the dust and that out. Yeah, Harlow would be really enjoying doing this, wouldn't she? <laughs> oh well, we'll have to do it another day with him. No. Oh wow, look at all that hair coming off. You wouldn't even have known that was on no, there. No, I know, it's mad. That would have really itched him. Very white. I know. Very clean socks. It's going to be actually a lot easier to keep them clean. Not that you that dirty. Oh, here she is. She's back. Is she back? So here is the finished clipped popcorn. It took at least a couple hours. Um, but yeah, and like the thing that I found most interesting is when I was shaving the top of his bum, all of this like grease and it was like little dirt balls literally came off of his bum whilst I was clipping him. And I was like, oh, Steph, what are these? And she was like, oh my word, that's grease. Um, it's probably been because like he's a bit, his bum's a bit higher and I can't see fully what's up there. But yeah, he's got his little triangle on the tail. Oh, mum. What, darling? Oops. <laughs> mum. No one sees that. No one sees it. I can't do any more clipping today. No. Whatever's not done, we're finishing off another day. He looks really dark along this saddle pack, but if you catch it on the light, it looks like he's black underneath. It's because he is. That's crazy. Yeah, on his skin underneath, Mum, he's black, like yeah. a grey. <laughs> and then little, if you come here, then it looks all smooth. Little fun fact, Palominos are, have black skin, like greys. 
But yeah, I want to get a little trotting motion so we can really see how pretty he's looking. He's also going to look better when like the hair comes back. A little, oh my goodness, look at his dapples. Oh. Come on. L let's see. Trot on. <laughs> Trot on. Good boy. Trotting. Okay, I think I need to unravel the whip a bit. Look at that beach body. Oh, pop on. I mean, trot on for at least 30 seconds. Go. Oh. First poo since he's been clipped. Look at that body! Oh, hope we get a little snow slow mo there. We're doing some showing practice. In hand showing. Do you reckon he'd be a good shower? Trot on. Hey, good boy. Do you reckon he'd be a good in hand showing pony? We'll have to give it a go, won't we? Yeah. So now we're going to pop popcorn back in the field whilst I quickly tidy up all of my stuff so he does get a bit of turnout. Let's have a bet, guys. Who thinks he's going to roll straight away? I think he is going to. Because every time we bath him, every time we bath him, he rolls. And I think now he feels like a proper man. He's, you know, you know when men like shave their bit and then they put aftershave on? I feel like the hot oil was the aftershave. So he's had a good old shave and then he's got his aftershave on. I think he's gonna really, oh God, I think he's gonna really enjoy having a good old itch on the ground. Hey, he looks stunning in this new head collar. It makes him look lighter. But he, he reminds me so much of when um, we first bought him, because we bought him in the winter. So he looks like we bought him. I can't believe how long that took. But some people, it takes at least a good old week to clip their horses, because some people's horses don't like the clipper sound. Um, but Popcorn, he was absolutely fine with it. Um, he didn't like the girth areas. Speaking of girth areas, ooh. Come on, come on, you've got loads of grass in here and you're choosing to eat the grass right outside the field. Right, pop on, three, two, three, two, one. Pop on, this is supposed to be a grand entry. Okay, pop on. Two, two, one, go! I thought you were going to go galloping off and then like roll. But anyways, we've got to get the poo out of the school, tidy up the wash bays. I don't actually know what we're going to do with the fluff. We're going to put it in a bag. Why, what are we going to use for, the ba for it? We don't want to put it on the muck heap. Why? Because it doesn't rot. Oh. You nicky pony! Literally. It's such a nice evening as well. Mm. You can't really tell, but let me do it now. You can see the sky 
I'm so glad that is all done, but I'm so itchy as well. Like, at the same time, I'm really happy, but at the same time, I'm also really itchy. Um, but I'm gonna go get popcorn in from the fields in a minute. I'm gonna put him to bed, we've tidied up. All of the hay is now in the wheelbarrow, and then all of the hair is now in the bag. I can't actually believe how much hair has actually come off popcorn. It was like, I'll show you the bag quickly. It's almost to the top and it's a massive bag. This is the bag. Um, some of the hair is trying to escape. Look at all of that hair. This is insane. I can't actually believe how much hair. I know I've said this once already put it's so much it was definitely a job that needed to be done today i'm actually kind of loving popcorn's new look because he looks a bit more muscly don't you think mum he looks a bit more sporty. yeah yeah he's been really sweaty like after our lesson he was so sweaty around the ears around the girth areas like the other day he got white sweat on his bum um but anyways, my mum bathed him in some hot oil, hot oil, not too hot, just about the right temperature. And he's looking so silky now. But anyways, I'm going to go get him from the field before it gets dark. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.